we're done here. We're gonna pack up pretty, get back out on the road, continue heading west. Lake Bistano State Park is our final campsite for this journey that is in Louisiana, just east of Shreveport. Have arrived Lake Bistinau State Park Louisiana we are just southeast of Shreveport probably 15 miles south of I-20 and check this out man it is this is just beautiful park we're in site number 20 as we were coming in Yappy was all about you should have got that site Look to pull through well I think I did all right it slopes pretty dramatically to the back it is water and electric 50 30 it slopes real far real sharp to the back so the back wheels are off the ground but check this out we've got a deck right outside the front door now I did set up the Coleman shelter I don't need it but it was wet from when I put it away last night, so I went ahead and stretched it out so it could dry. And there's a 60% chance of showers. This is our camp, site number 20. We're here for one night. I'm gonna jump on the scooter. We're gonna go see what this park has to offer. Stay tuned.
it started raining. And I still hear thunder. I'm not willing to go too far on the scooter. So we don't want to don't want to get caught in the rain. Electric scooters and water don't mix very well. So we're gonna at least go down here. I am determined to give you a look at this lake because I want a better look at it. There just happens to be some kind of dock down here. That's within that's within my biped range. So with umbrella in hand, umbrella in one hand and camera in the other, we shall go take a look at Lake Vista now. At, at, at least this part of it. Hope we don't get any lightning. See, that's the side I should have got right there. I don't think it was available though when I was making my reservations. There's actually several dock type structures down here. We'll go down the other side. This pad is pretty rough. That looks like Wi-Fi. Oh, now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Those big, huge cypress trees. Man, this is so cool. It'd be even better if the sun was shining, but alas, it is not. Now I toured that boat ramp over there on the scooter run. So if you've not seen the scooter run video, check it out. It's, it's a money maker. Great place to go do some kayaking. Stop raining. Wow. Lake Bistanau State Park. We'll go down there and check out the other dock. Now that it stopped raining, I may be able to get on the scooter and go see some more stuff. That does look like a Wi Fi antenna. And we just might be in range. Okay, so 
we were shopping at Costco a few months back and we picked up a couple of these umbrellas because the one that I was using was getting kind of ratty check this out this is the shed rain <laughs> one hand to open but it does take two to close Yeah, this is not just the most stable structure that I've been on. Be mindful of your step. Lake Vista now. How cool is this? fish is feeding right there. Man, I bet that's a big old catfish too. I'm only in Louisiana for one day, so it's not cost effective to buy a fishing license. And that's just a darn shame. I wish more states would do like Texas, where you can fish in the state park without a license. That'd be awesome. Hint, hint, clue, clue. If there's any state officials watching this, come on, man. Help an old boy out. Let me go fishing in your state parks without having to buy an expensive license for one day.
man it's been a fun trip two weeks here we are last morning finishing up in such a beautiful place in Louisiana it's such a beautiful country you gotta get out there and see it I need to see more of it appreciate y'all sticking with me to this point I really I really do you are the reason that I'm doing this if it wasn't for you I wouldn't have a whole lot of motivation <laughs> to walk around talking to this camera well I could be talking to myself I am honored that you've stuck with me to this point thank you so much all right that wraps up our visit to Lake Bistanau Bistanu Lake Bistanau State Park as I was cooking breakfast, bacon and eggs for breakfast, bacon and eggs, baby, gotta have that bacon and egg breakfast. First, there was a deer that just ran right, right through here. That was so cool. We're getting ready to hit, hit the road, head back to North Texas. I sure appreciate y'all watching and staying with me to this point. Hey, if you've enjoyed what I've done, give me one of those thumbs up. If you thought it could use some improvement, well, you can do the thumb down. If you do that, post a comment down there and let me know why. Most important, click on the subscribe button. I've got more adventures planned for 2018 in my drive for 9,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Y'all come back now, you hear?